Hey guys, Chris here. Tonight I'm at a abandoned drive-in theater. I'm going to be spending the night here and I'm going to kind of sneak in here <laughs> and I'm going to be camping next to, maybe even inside, the snack bar. And uh, we're going to talk about the history of drive-ins. But i got to be kind of stealthy because I've got a highway right next to me over here. And i got some really tall sagebrush, so kind of working around that. But that's next. As there's no traffic right now, I'm going to drive right up to the snack bar and uh, throw my backpack on the back side of the snack bar here. And then go ditch the car in the sagebrush. Some really tall sagebrush, so. All right, here we are. drive-in over by this uh, electrical grid thing here and uh, actually it's a high-pressure gas pipeline anyways we're gonna scoot over to the drive-in here right over here all right there's a little break in the traffic here and I uh, wanted to do a quick run out here, do a quick look at the movie screen here. Isn't this awesome? Got the sunset, so we're just catching this, but this is the uh, Sagecrest Drive-In Theater. First opened in 1953, 250 car capacity. This thing's huge. You can see all the junk on the ground here. It's just out in the middle of the desert here. But there's the screen. And you can see the ticket booth over my shoulder right back here. Right over there. That's the ticket booth. And then this here, these are the, uh, the old speaker stands that they had for the uh, hang the speakers on right here. <laughs> Look at that. You can even see like, like Art Deco kind of a look to it like that. But, all right, well, a lot of nails and stuff. But yeah, look at that. All right, glad we caught that with the, before the sun sets. It's setting really fast over here. And uh, it's all desert out this way. We got kind of the edge of town this way. I'm in Yarrington, Nevada. And uh, this is BLM land, so it's it's uh, stealth camping, quasi-stealth camping. I just don't want people to find me out here. And um, anyways, we're at the snack bar. <laughs> I gotta figure out where I'm gonna pitch the tent. But this is where the, uh, right here, this is where the projector was, I believe. That window right there. And then this is like the project projectionist room here, I believe. And then the food and stuff's on the other side. So I gotta find a place to put the tent. Okay, I didn't like the spot over by the uh, snack bar. There was not enough sagebrush. Found a good screen behind me here, some sagebrush, and there's this fence. And I got a little spot back there. I've been kind of cleaning it up, so I'm gonna pitch the tent there. I'm waiting for it to get a little darker before I set the tent up. But uh, I'm just below the screen. <laughs> yeah! So, I should have should have brought something to project a movie onto that. That'd be cool, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna wait another 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna set the tent up. I got the green, uh, Eureka tent's got no vestibule on it. It's just a little top on it. So it's going to make it easy to set up and stuff with it. Just, I just need just a simple shelter. But the traffic is kind of cleared up for the moment. So I'm kind of watching things. Yeah, see right back in here. Got a little spot just below the screen. <laughs> and uh, 
I brought some food, you. I got some sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Going to the drive-in. You gotta have snacks. And uh, get some other goodies too. So I'll show you those when I make dinner. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing it right tonight. Got an amazing sunset going on here. It's spectacular. And uh, I'm gonna go right over here with the tent, so. Ecology. Yay! Fifteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> this is a great fellow. Wind will carry this across the county, though. I guarantee it. So, and as uh, soon as the sun goes down, we're gonna go in the snack bar and have dinner. I have uh, hot dogs, a root beer, and uh, some potato chips and my snacks. <laughs> That's gonna be my dinner. <laughs> a total snack bar dinner and we're going to cook inside the snack bar there so get the headlight on do that but we've got just a few more minutes of the sun and then that's going to be it so it's showtime yes sir the hot dogs at our concession stand do rate an appreciative whistle it's two minutes till showtime okay i got everything packed up and it's dark enough and i'm going to head to the snack bar right now Get some dinner going. A cool little campsite. <laughs> Big old fence. And that green does blend in pretty well. So, all right, traffic is nil right now. <sighs> There's the old screen. This is about when they would have the uh, commercials, previews, snack bar. Let's go to the snack bar. Get some snacks. <laughs> A little breezy tonight, but uh, yeah, 250 cars this place could handle. And it uh, finally was abandoned in 1984, and then somebody got it going again in about 1991, went another four or five years after that, 1995, so all right, here we are. Oh, here's the restroom right here. <laughs> I love this uh, 1950s orange. Oh, that's the, uh, the stall. I don't think I'll be using this, this men's room here. So. so yeah, look at this tile or the uh, brickwork. That looks like 50s to me, totally. And you can see, like look at this old electrical boxes and things. This is, this is a projection room, I believe. This is not the snack bar. This is the uh, projection room attached to the snack bar. But a lot of junk in here. But yeah, you can see all the uh, power boxes and things. There's a door. I think that just goes outside there, so. In the movie, we play right out this one. Isn't that awesome? I got some little smaller windows there, too. Not sure what those were for, but very good. Totally abandoned. <laughs> There we are. 
This is the snack bar. <laughs> Here's the actual counter right here. Love the, uh, the moon door. Need that glass on it so we can see what's going on. Here's some kind of an old signage. October's, what does that say? October's food, beer, Lyon County Fairgrounds, something like that. Yeah, yeah, this is where Popcorn Maker was probably right over here with his vent. See this vent? Up here, I think that's a vent. Oh shit, some swallows. Oh my god, some swallows up there. Hi guys, don't mean to scare you. Some, some swallows right there. We'll leave them be, okay? But yeah. Hi. I thought they were bats. <laughs> oh, there they are. It's okay, kids. Hi, guys. A couple of swallows. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to share. Um, I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. He's right there. Some kind of a swallow or something up there. Yeah, I don't blame him. Here's another vent. And then another one of those moon doors going out here. Look at that. Double door, double moon doors. Cool. That's what I'm calling them. Oh, I think that's the actual kettle. The kettle for the popcorn ma maker right there. Look at that. That's the, uh, yeah, the, the, the popcorn would come out right over here and it would overflow down here and probably a big bucket or something down there to catch it. And you can see the old, uh, Old logo right here. Look at that. Creators. That's just the name brand of a company that made a popcorn station, is what this is. Eat butter crunched buttercup, popcorn at its best. Served in a king size cup. It beats all the rest. It's kind of fun. <laughs> It's not as scary as it looks. It does look pretty scary though. <laughs> I would not want to sleep in here though. Uh, I'm happy in the, my tent underneath the, uh, the, the screen. <laughs> so. so we gotta set up shop, have some dinner. At the refreshment counter, now's the time to yum yum yum, yum yum yum, yum yum yum. Now's the time to yum 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 at the refreshment counter. All right, get the old stove going here. I'm pronouncing that right, Das Equis. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. It's a Mexican beer though. Got some good cheap Franks here. Some waffles. Go with it. Got that from the Mini Mart. So that is gonna cook my dogs just fine here. <laughs> Give that probably just a minute and a half. That'll be just fine. Das Equis. Cheers. Also, I have Shasta root beer. Check that out. Isn't that classic looking? <laughs> that is something you would get at the snack bar, Shasta. All right, just put the ketchup on it, chopped onion, little cheddar, sour cream, ruffles, and got the uh, Das Equis going there, and the uh, Shasta root beer chaser right there. <laughs> so that's how you do it at the snack bar. 
Enjoy the movie. There's plenty for everyone. Big, plump, and juicy, wrapped in an oven-fresh bun. Add mustard, relish, ketchup, and go to work. Yes, the hot dogs at our refreshment center are the best you'll find anywhere. Everybody agrees on that. Oh, and for the dessert, I think we're going to have to go with... I think the raisinets are the appropriate dessert for this fine dining experience. That's what we're going to have to go with. Not the most glorious place to have a meal, but here's to old movies, cheap food, and good times. <laughs> this is uh, quite some time after the fact, but this in its heyday was quite a place for the locals here, I'm sure. Shake Crest Drive It. How cool is that? I bet hot dogs were like 25 cents back then, too. Three for 75 cents. Maybe even 15 cents. I believe this was the main entrance right here. Yeah, this was the main entrance because you can see the double doors and the big round windows were so you could see who was on the other side because people are pushing the doors both ways it's a double swinging door like that and so when you can see somebody on the other side and you can see right here is where they probably had some big handles this circle right here we'll take a look at it in a minute but I do wish I had a movie to watch tonight. <laughs> I do got my phone, so maybe I could bring some Netflix up, watch an old movie. That would be that would be fun. It's actually a good idea. <sighs> okay, guys, wanted to show you one more thing before I head back to the tent. I found the ice cream cooler. Isn't that awesome? Big, huge refrigeration cooler right there. And this is where they would have malt cups ice cream sundaes, drumsticks, fudgicles, all that kind of stuff right inside there. And then a shelf right above it. Do you notice how that shelf is angled upward like that? See that? That was because they wanted to show off the candy so they would line it up in there, the candy and the snacks or whatever was in there. And then people could see it from this side of the counter here. And then here's a, possibly the counter right there and then there's the other counter and the popcorn maker but anyways heading back to the tent okay i came back with my fenix headlamp 1500 lumens watch check this out there's no cars right now look at that <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's awesome definitely showtime then let's go it's showtime. Okay, I am uh, in my tent, snug as a bug. I can hear the traffic, and the wind is unrelenting, but I got my uh, raisinets, and I got a trailer from Hondo John Wayne 1953, which was the same year that this theater was established. Isn't that awesome? Good old John Wayne movie from the early 50s. <laughs> so I think I will be watching this in my tent here as I eat my raisinets in the spirit of things. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Out of the parched wasteland where a thousand men had ridden, one man was walking out. Hondo, hot-blooded with the fury of the plains that bred him, silent as gun smoke. A stranger to all but the surly dog at his side. The woman watched him come toward. <laughs> That's awesome. So, all right, guys. It was a good day, and uh, we will talk to you in the morning.
All right, good morning, guys. Pretty rough night's sleep next, next to the highway here. There's no traffic right now, but... Um, got a nice uh, coffee going here. And I am going to be uh, packing it up in a few minutes. But uh, I thought I'd show you guys... <laughs> just living a life of squalor here underneath the, the drive-in screen here. <laughs> living in the dirt. Thought we would take a look at the um, ticket booth. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is where they would come in and get their tickets. Right there. The ticket booth. Back of the screen's right there, so. Yeah, this is all kind of broken up and stuff, but yeah, there you go. The guy would sit right here, hand out the tickets, collect some money. Good to go. Yes, there's an air about hot coffee that's hard to resist. Full-bodied, refreshing hot coffee makes any time a pleasant interlude. Won't you have some now? Yeah, pretty chilly this morning. That wind was just howling last night. And then the traffic, <laughs> it was hard to sleep. It's a semi-stealthy camping, but I don't think anybody really cares. I'm out in the middle of the desert here, next to this highway, but yeah. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Very unique experience coming to an old place like this. Just catching a little bit of the uh, flavor, the spirit of a uh, Something they did in the old days. So, have a good day, and uh, we'll see you next time. Keep hiking.